let me walk you through calling PHP from Flex applications. So um, to do that, we will create a PHP page and a Flex uh, code. So let us look at our PHP. Uh, this is our PHP. Uh, we have uh, a simple echo, which is printing everything that we receive and uh, printing the request array so that so as to know what are we receiving all right so let us go back uh, to a browser and test this so if you call this php without any input so this is what you will receive printing everything the array here uh, is empty we have not received anything now if you pass on a parameter say p and pass on some value and then another parameter q and then you pass on the value another parameter uh, t and pass on the uh, pass on the value and then run as you can see that there are three parameters we have passed p q and t with their respective values you can see that in this url uh, on the top in this url we are passing after the question mark uh, these values now this is a PHP caller. So we know that uh, this is how it is going to show up. Now let's go to flex code and see how uh, can we use uh, this in our flex code. So for that we need uh, these basic uh, uh, imports. Uh, one is a result event, uh, then fault event, HTTP service and flex event. And we have to handle this uh, fault and response received in the response received we are simply printing uh, that is stress call we are tracing the event dot result so in this way uh, we are calling uh, the uh, service uh, let us take a closer look at the service call uh, we are creating an object http service then this is the path localhost php caller php sync this is the php caller i have created and then method is post format is text and we are passing now two parameters line number 33 with action as gate items and line number 34 as another parameter name class with the value as fruit and then just pass it on so once we do this and there is a button handler so http service on click and then we send these parameters on line number 39 so let's see how it how the call goes i'm just going to run this application now once we run this here is the uh, application invoke http now i'm going to click this so once i click on this right side here you can see that where i have selected now uh, printing everything we have received class as fruit action as gate items so this is how uh, uh, we are passing the values if you change the values for example in case of fruit if you just place place your own json variable so that will that will go here and you can give a variable name as json and some other parameter uh, which is let's say param and then let's say i'm going to pass the value uh, 3378 and that's it so if you do this and run it then as you can see it will compile in uh, run the application and when i click invoke on the right side here you can see that the json place your own json variable value here and then parameter 3378 so this is what uh, as you are seeing this is the output json we have received uh, this is a trace window by the way and this trace window um, is showing the output of the php call so this is how you do this is a very simple simple uh, simple call uh, now in terms of the configuration uh, i'm just gonna zoom in and show you this alias so this is the alias you have to create uh, called as alias php caller and give your directory name here php caller wherever you have kept your flex code i'm keeping flex and php in the same folder so once you configure this and start your apache uh, zam uh, everything uh, falls in place so i hope you understand